Hello there and welcome back to a final episode in our series. Yes, it is going to be a final episode because we've been uh, missing for quite some time and I do owe you all a big apology and a bit of an explanation of, of what's been happening as well. I'll, I'll try and make it as short as I can, of course, because the goal really, really is to enjoy the game, close this series out and then see what's going to happen with Baby Dragon's channel in the future. Alright, so whilst we go through a couple of things, I have prepared a bit of a time lapse of uh, what I did construct in the Dragon's Keep. Now, one of our plans here obviously was to dig things underground as requested by... I'm afraid I don't really rem remember anymore since it's been such a long time, but it was requested by someone. So yeah, we uh, let's watch the time lapse as we find out what's been going on with uh, baby dragon and why why has he been missing so yeah i you have no idea how bad i feel about all of this it's been what is it now three or four months isn't it end of june beginning of july is probably around the time when we went uh, mia and it's a little bit silly however i guess the the moon and the stars weren't really lined up for us to keep uh, keep going with the, with the series as well. I know I had big plans and I just couldn't deliver them. But essentially how it, uh, again, I'll, I'll try and make it as short as I can so we can jump into the episode. But uh, essentially, step number one was I got a new microphone, right? Okay, pretty cool. Things were getting better. However, something didn't work out. So I made a, I already had a couple of recordings so I could still upload the games and edit them so it, it was good and uh but setting up the new one was a bit of a struggle for some reason I, I i'm not quite sure i can't remember i went for one of the xlr microphones so there was a bit of an extra step which wasn't too difficult really but i think it was more on the technical the um, uh, software side of things where the audio that was coming out was uh, i i think i did something in the settings Essentially, I wasn't very happy with the sound that was coming out. Don't get me wrong, microphone was really good and everything, but I, I did something on the on the back end of things. And uh, yeah, so the software, uh, whether it was the DaVinci or or um, what's it called, the uh, OBS, uh, something wasn't working out. So yeah, um, sound wasn't good, and I spent probably about. I don't know, a week, I think, not the whole day, of course, but just the evenings, trying to figure out what's going on, how can I fix it, didn't seem to find a solution, was getting pretty frustrated, at the same time, work was getting pretty busy as well, so, so yeah, things, uh, uh, I had even less time to, to record, of course, yeah, then it sort of, sort of, sort of happened, I, I also started playing uh, mobile games, which was surprising to me, because I usually don't really play them, and uh but i guess i was just you know you, you get to home you're tired uh it's it's much quicker and easier just sit on the sofa get your phone out and uh just play something on your phone for a quick 30 40 minutes didn't really have to think too much or plan or do anything so yeah that was the easy way out i, I guess you know in a way um but yeah that that's what happened i was of course very sad this whole time um I really wanted to record and do, do stuff, but I just wasn't able to. And um, yeah, it got to a point where a few months later, didn't forget about it, of course. I, I, I didn't remember all of you and, and everything, but it, it just uh, became a habit of not thinking about it too much until I think it was a couple of weeks ago when I decided, hey, okay, it, it seems work is getting a bit better now. I've got some time. People have been asking, so it's time to make a make a return. So I already made a couple of posts before on Discord as well. So in the past week or so, I have been uh, planning things out on uh, what and how we can do. And uh, all right, so I think we're at the mark where we can talk about this episode and what to do in the future as well. So with the new update now being on live uh, live stage, I believe for the Timberborn. I thought, okay, well, we can't really continue this series anymore, so it's it's about time we close it out. And to speed things up, I didn't really want to spend 
days and days just uh, waiting for resources. I decided to download one of the mods. Uh, I think it's called the, uh, you know, the creative mode essentially. So yeah, that's what I've been doing as well. I already had a few things built before recording this time lapse, but uh, uh, yeah, we went creative mode. Let's um, plop everything down as quick as we can. The goal really is just to show you what my vision and thoughts and ideas with uh, mixed with yours obviously as well where for this uh, this playthrough so that over here is uh, quite a quite a massive change already we've got all the housing underground and uh, with this section here as well it, it, it's been pretty difficult because you've um, the space around the pillars is quite limited so you have to be quite clever about how you want to build things and I didn't want to make it you know uh, exactly the same on both sides so I started with the houses and I, and I tried my best to mix it up a little bit now coming above ground we are obviously going to change this whole area around quite a bit as well in here I did want to mirror the, up, uh, the other side but whilst I was doing that I was thinking well we've got all this space in here why don't we, you know, go on the ground a little bit more? And I think one of the biggest challenges for me when playing games like this, uh, especially city building games uh, like City Skylands, is when you are redesigning a district or an area and you are going through an old one, uh, demolishing or deleting the existing networks or uh, buildings is very difficult. It's, uh, I, I think, when you when I press that delete button on, on buildings where there's beavers living or there's resources inside, uh, I, I think part of me dies with that building block when uh, when it gets deleted as well. So I'm sure some of you can relate to this feeling uh, as well. It uh, it takes a lot to be able to just go there and you know delete the whole area. Although it will be way easier to do it that way. But all right, yeah, so it would have been nicer if I just uh, deleted the whole uh, hilltop or at least the buildings on top of it so we could have a, a clean clean base when, when going underground, but it, it's fine. We've, uh, we've done it this way this time. So yeah, bit by bit, uh, bit is how we are constructing it. It's just like a, I guess like a puzzle, you know, we, we just every now and then we're adding a couple more little blocks to the underground and network there so what's happening now is i decided to have a few more uh, warehouses in here and really figuring out the exact layout is is a bit of a struggle of course uh, trying to maximize the amount of resources we can do here I was thinking about the aesthetics i don't want to just look it like it's the same old block of uh, roads and platforms so just uh, constantly trying to make sure that we have the access but also so it doesn't look like a you know monotone and uh, everything is the same so I mean of course there are going to be bits and uh, sections where you can't avoid it but overall yeah it, uh, it it's quite a fun little a little challenge but I believe with the uh, with these warehouses we can store quite a few resources in here i did initially want to do the i think it was called the underground warehouse the the, the biggest one in the folktale series of course um but the problem with that one was if i placed it down we can't really build anything above it so unfortunately we weren't able to use it and uh, so we'll do the medium-sized warehouses instead and right about now we've got the metal uh, pillars or the uh, the platforms uh, above it so most of it underground is complete and we can go through it layer by layer as well and uh, during daytime there isn't a lot of traffic of course there will be very soon once once we uh, get the the other production zones deleted and this one built up again the beavers will be going on the ground just to fill up those warehouses take resources or put resources away uh, but towards the evening it uh, definitely gets a bit more busier of course especially before 
they go to bed but uh, there there are some of those rooftop terraces as well so beavers do have a purpose and uh, a need to go uh, underground or that into that uh, hidden lair even before uh, before they go to sleep so so yeah that that's pretty good uh, now the reason I don't think I shared the reason why we have chosen to use those metal platforms but yeah uh, I think I did want want this to be a bit of like a secret little project that we have in here I mean we could have just um, emptied the uh, the the ground and uh, forget the forget the platforms and just keep stacking uh, it would have been I, th I think much easier of course but it just didn't feel as as fun uh, so those platforms I guess it sort of makes more sense in some ways as well you know it's uh, it, 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 it sort of creates that separation between the underground and what's above ground in, in, in some ways, I suppose. But yeah, so right above ground here, we've got the, the blank production and the gear production as well. And behind those, what we're doing now is, uh, yeah, it was a bit, of a bit of a pain trying to clear this space up. But I did realize that, hey, you all of you are uh, kind of in a way, so it's, it's time to go. And... Um, we are putting a few warehouses for some more paper. We'll produce quite a bit more in here for the dynamites, but also some books as well, which would be lovely for the for the beavers. Now, whilst I was building and constructing all this, I did find myself getting lost in, in minor details quite a lot. And I had to <laughs> remind myself that hey, this is the, this is just for the final episode of this series. So let let's just try and get it done, and get the biggest and most important buildings in. But um, but yeah, so that was a definite struggle. The uh, Dragon's District actually looks a little bit different, but the time lapse is almost over. So right about uh, well, in any second, we'll jump in, have a look what's going on. And with this building here, I did want to stack it up different levels, but I quickly realized that, hey, it's going to be a little bit too high. We don't want every, uh, everything sticking out from the from the walls. And we want buildings to be slightly lower or same height as the walls. But yeah, the time lapse is uh, pretty much finished now. So let us uh, jump back into the game and uh, take a look around what's, uh, what's changed over here. There we go. We are now live in the game. And it is uh, nice and early for the beavers. Everyone should be waking up. Let's bring the overlay back on. And we're not paused. No, we are not. Okay, great. So let's take a quick look through this lovely little town. Do you know what? I might just hide these uh, little ones in here as well because we don't really need those resources. Or at least we don't need to see them. Okay, uh, great. So where shall we start? I suppose we'll... Uh, to one district at a time and uh, yeah yeah let, let's let's give it a try so dragons dragons keep first let's have a quick uh, quick look over here so i've gone around the perimeter here and all these wall sections are well 100 percent done now so yeah everything's it's got a little nice and lovely roof and in the corners we've got beaver statues as well down here planted some trees around and I, and I was in the process of getting rid of all these buildings in here as I was building up uh, the new construction or production should I say actually yeah the uh, production zone on top of the dragon's keep quite a few buildings had to be demolished in this area but that is okay now uh, if we look at one of these towers in here I kind of like the look of this one uh, if we hide all these notifications, I should have downloaded another mod that that hi uh, hides the all these um, you know annoying little uh, messages here. Anyways, let's hide it. So a couple of uh, towers in here with beaver statues. I do like uh, how these fences kind of fit in here between the towers as well. So that's a pretty lovely looking spot. Now, I remember initially I wanted to do this walkway all the way around 
uh, Dragon's Keep, but we did run into a little complication over over here. If we get a better angle, yeah. So this, what is it? Wood Workshop. Yep, that unfortunately is a bit in the way, and there's no way to go or get around from from here. So yeah, that's okay. I mean, we could always do a bridge platform here, but that that's okay. Maybe it doesn't have to go all the way around. Now, from the time lapse as well, this area has changed a little bit, and I think the key difference really is this section here. So I went underground after recording the time lapse a little bit more, and why don't we take a look what's happening in there? So how shall we do it? Let's get a okay. So that's pretty good angle. Oh, okay. Yep, one at a time. Okay, so what is happening in here? Right, what we added in uh, in this section is, well, a bit of extra water. So any beavers that live or do their stuff underground, at least now we've got some emergency water storage uh, storages here as well. Uh, that's only four large water tanks, but you know what? That's a little bit of extra water that's uh, hopefully going to be quite handy. And the access was not too difficult, fortunately. Just had to uh, be a bit clever about the placement of the stairs and platforms. And yeah, pretty pretty straight uh, straightforward. It does block out... Because uh, I've done it in sections. And it wasn't... I think I mentioned before as well. It wasn't done uh, in a way where I demolished this whole area and then look at this area as a whole. It was more done as a... Okay, that was section 1... Then section 2, I think. Then I decided to expand a little bit. So that was the third one. The more storage is in here. And then the water section was the last one. So it wasn't quite as a... Uh, yeah. Um, done all together with uh, simple... Or not simple, but one design in mind. It was more like, oh, we got some space now. Let's try and see what we can uh, fit in this area. But okay, yeah. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, just a little bit of water storage and due to the height of those tanks the only thing we could really place above them uh what do we have here oh yeah little platforms and arches and above those all it is is just those rooftop terraces okay everything else it seems like the beavers have started to uh, walk down these areas a bit more often now uh, most likely the haulers bringing resources but also beavers seemingly stealing some water from us okay so maybe it's not that big of a backup storage but that's okay and i've also started to put a couple of beaver breeding pods in here as well and i think the plan i'm not sure oh we still have them here i believe i deleted a few uh how many beavers do we have 200 okay yeah so we'll it's a nice little empty spot where I didn't really feel like I'd want to put any more houses in here. I believe we do have enough. For, yeah, that's uh, 115 uh, spare beds that we still have. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Nighttime, it looks quite lovely in here as well with all the lights on. If I'm scrolling the right way. Yep. So that looks pretty, uh, pretty nice little area. And if we go above, no one's even going to know that uh, anyone's here once they're all underground okay uh what i'll do is i'll skip the night real quick and then there's one more thing i want to show in this this district and then we can move on on to the next one here we go that's uh pretty much everything we oh there is a drought coming in three days that's okay uh yeah pretty much everything i wanted to show in here uh, i think most things you already saw in the time lapse anyway so that's that's alrighty. Uh, I think I've just realized I did forget to set up yeah, all the small warehouses, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. Anyways, moving on. So this water tank has had a bit of a renovation as well, and it's not quite the configuration that I really wanted it to have. Like some of those buildings are just emergency stuff in here. For example, these bakeries. I wasn't planning to put them here at all, but as I was building... I noticed that the food went to zero and yeah so i started exporting some uh, flour from district one plop down those bakeries just to make sure that our beavers 
don't all uh, starve but okay anyways we've got a lot of space in here and we could in theory build a pretty lovely looking production zone or storage zone in here as well but for the time being i think it's okay just the way it is uh do you know what since it is going to be drought soon we should raise those gates by a little bit okay maybe all the way yeah that that should be should be pretty good okay so how shall we do it let's hide the notification so it's a little bit easier to see uh, maybe i'll pause the time as well okay so platforms are in place the way they get through is same as before they just walk uh, through this uh, arch little uh, little arch over here and is this water flowing through i'm getting a little bit distracted but but yeah they walk through and then they have two options in here three actually they can go across the it's like an aqueduct i suppose yeah or they can go down where there's uh, some more water pumps or they can walk all the way to the top of these platforms and uh, onto one of those workplaces uh yeah so this uh, aqueduct was moved over by one if you remember it was actually running through the middle over here but yeah it's just uh, a little bit better now that meant i could finally complete this section as well and uh, actually there are a few hmm okay never mind that's okay uh right let's hide this again and let's have a look what's happening underneath uh scroll all the oh we should have probably hit the water would make things a bit easier all right let's go all the way to the bottom so a bit of cheating was done in this section and i just couldn't wait for the dynamites right so we used the uh the creative mode to dig our way all the way to the bottom we've got some pillars in here and if we go down here we should be able to see yep so these pumps reach all the way to the bottom and the only time they will be active is if the water level actually drops past past these water pumps here and the top ones cannot reach any more uh, water there we go it should be right about here enough if i'm not mistaken they should be able to take up everything okay then we have the second level or a layer over here and right now they're not flooded just yet, but they will be in a second because we've just closed these gates. But yeah, some beavers are working here and pumping out water on this level. And I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have used these platforms for some kind of storages as well. But uh, I, I think it's fine. They get some quite nice bonuses whilst working here as well. Thanks to the shrubs and the statues. And then we have these four here. They're kind of like... a emergency if we are super flooded here um yeah then we can use these four or the other ones on this side and uh let's say if we are running really really low on drinking water i mean right now there's about five thousand, so that's okay but if we were running really low and these weren't enough we could even just uh, drop some out through these gates and therefore allow some more of those bumps to become active which are these ones but that's not really a, a feature that i've needed just yet and what i like about this area is it's uh, it kind of looks like you know it's almost complete but it's almost not especially with how there's like a this this one platform uh, missing and uh, i i know it's probably difficult for people with uh, extreme OCD, but that's okay. It's just a symbol of our district and the whole playthrough. Nothing's ever complete. Everything's always in progress. Uh, right, so then I cheated in a few more windmills in here as well, just so we have a little wind park. And, you know, right now it's looking pretty lovely and green, so things are looking good. Okay, since it is daylight, actually, I believe that's... That's all of it. Yep, I believe so. I did tidy up, obviously, those corners as well. And let's move on. Let's go to another district, which is right about here. So, a bit of a change that we do have. I have dynamited our way through this section here. 
and the main reason for that is to create a bit of a farming area for us also i think today's episode is going to be quite a long one i forgot to mention it before uh, typically i try to have them uh, less than 30 minutes but since we haven't had any episodes for such a long time i think it's okay if we go past 30 30 minute mark uh, yeah i hope you're fine with that as well all right so back over here uh, i think with the log section or situation we're okay they have dropped quite a little bit especially with having a couple of these engines running and i suppose we could pause them you know what yeah let's pause them so that's looking quite a lovely little section we only have just one aquatic farmhouse in uh, in here but the rest yeah this section has been cut off a little bit and everything else is paused here so it's sort of like an abandoned area for now at least it um maybe stays here just to maybe like a historic site these are the remains of the the founding colony and how the district used to be so we've left them sort of in there because i don't really have a need for anything else in here at this stage at least um right distribution centers that's quite a lovely little section here as well pretty efficient system how these two feed into those drop-off zones and one of these feeds into this one so nice neat clean beautiful awesome yeah that's that's pretty much it okay so that section here as well looking quite lovely i did add i believe a couple more houses in here and made it look up little bit prettier i guess yeah bit of few statues as well and uh, something new in here so the amusement park section that is actually quite funny uh well it, it is not but i had a whole episode planned and i uh, recorded as well uh it was for the amusement park section uh, everything was just all i had to do was let's start building uh unpause and everything yeah that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it just didn't work out. Very unfortunate. But that's okay. We've got this episode to finish the construction instead. So yeah, that was District 1. I don't think there is anything major. It's just more tiner. I wanted to say tiny and minor, but tiner is what came out. So tiny minor changes now night time again so i guess we're gonna, gonna have to skip it and as soon as it's over once it's morning we'll have a look into our temple district as well it is a, another morning so let's take a look at our temple district is it saving right now i think it is okay do we hide the water no let's uh, have a look with water visible to start this section with okay beautiful so lots of greenery is what we've done we have definitely emptied out this area here as well and it, it, it was pretty much ready to go if uh, we had continued episodes as planned and uh, yeah but now it's it's it, i don't think it's used no everyone's out from there but it's uh, actually i think it's go it had the potential potential to look like a very lovely area with a little waterfall here lakes little islands uh, peninsulas and um, yeah maybe a bit of vegetation here as well and this would look quite lovely now the biggest change over here is i think the uh, first one which is the actually let's say the third one the smallest one is probably uh, just adding a couple of distribution centers in uh, here really just to export the water that we are producing into district one which is now doing pretty good as well i think we had quite a few close calls where things were not going our way now upgrade number two is probably i decided to get rid of all the iron teeth looking houses because i thought hey if the if the district is mostly iron teeth and looking very industrial i thought town um 
off the hill over here at least on the on the ground uh, this could look more like the folktale series and to be fair i think these houses look much nicer i was planning to put some more farms and things in here as well but you know what i think uh, these potatoes and carrots should be enough for us we can of course check that yeah that's fine it's not a lot it's not gonna take us through a long drought but uh, i think we're okay and let's check out uh, the uh, biggest update in this uh, section here as well and that is our uh, pumping station so that's uh, quite a big one and what we have done here have we closed it oh no we haven't okay so let's hide the water yep it is pretty deep it goes all the way down there uh, it doesn't look much but once we hide the water it actually looks pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty awesome so I had uh, quite a play a bit of a play around with this area here as well trying to get the exact uh, layout and design how I wanted it to do and uh, yeah I think we're almost there all I had to do was just move these large water tanks and put some more trees around it to you know hide this a little bit uh, maybe we'll start from the lowest of the levels then same thing it's going on the uh, pillars and if we scroll up here's our first level level and that fits pretty nicely between those pillars right about there and i wanted to leave the middle bit empty so when the water level drops what this means is it doesn't you, you won't be able to see too much of those uh, platforms and and all that kind of stuff so yeah i think it's you know nice Perhaps it's a little bit nicer when it's kind of tucked away right under those metal platforms. Uh, yeah, so pretty straightforward. We've got quite a lot of bumps here and they will switch off if they are uh, submerged. Uh, the only annoying thing is, of course, those notifications in here, but that's uh, it's okay. We can live with that. Um, what is a bit more difficult, however, is dealing with unpausing and pausing every single one of those buildings i mean the easier way would be to let's say we could remove the the road over here from both sides perhaps and that way they are no longer accessible but the problem i have or we have right now is just the how these water tanks are placed they should be the entrance should be on the opposite side so that way it wouldn't be affected by if we were to remove those roads but yeah it is what it is and yeah so we go down again a nice little staircase that takes us up and it kind of looks pretty adorable how it's submerged right now as well so yeah if you want to go in you can but you know what it's uh maybe not a good idea and um, they do fill it up pretty nicely i think right now not really sure what all those beavers are doing but uh, maybe I should have unpaused it. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have some beavers working here. Uh, maybe our population has dropped a little bit. Could be the problem as well if we check these ones out. Uh, you're empty, empty. Oh, those are paused, that's why. Okay, maybe it's just starting to kick off. Yeah, we've got only 30 beavers, but there's 11 kids already. And these ones as well, right? No, not the tree there we go okay so i think things would uh pick up over time but yeah for the time being that's pretty much how our temple district uh, looks and functions right now um i think we are gonna have to leave it as it is i was thinking of doing another district right about here as well but due to time constraints um we're gonna skip that now going into this mountain over here I did think about completing this, but at the same time, I sort of, I don't know, it may, might sound a little bit weird, but I do like how uncompleted this area looks. I think it's quite, quite awesome in a way. Now, I did also try and bring this back to life with those two bumps, but I don't know how much power they're producing there's only a 15 hamster power 
her wheel so yeah that's definitely not gonna help us a lot but that's okay just a bit of testing in this area even although it's a cool idea just not very practical it seems and in uh, this section here i haven't really changed anything have i no i believe everything else was already here except yeah, that's all the same as well. I did try and do a quick little power plant in in here, but I think right now all this water is... Yeah, it's not really going there. I mean, could probably take you out. Okay, speed up the time just a bit. Um, we'll get those wheels going. But I think the problem was it wasn't... It wasn't really worth the hassle, to be fair. I think most of the time, from what I noticed, the... Let's see, right now our power demand is 2100, right? Times the power, of course. And most of the time, the supply would actually sit around that number as well. It's gonna be quite high now, since the water is... Uh, a lot of water is going to go through, but let's say during drought when we don't have the what is it, the water source is pumping out this much water. Uh, it, it's not the current isn't going to be as strong, uh, so yeah, a little bit less useful. I mean, right now we'll probably easily get up to like I want to say like five, six thousand, perhaps. Let's see, a couple of you are pumping. Okay, two rows are working pretty nicely. Yeah, definitely gonna go into over 5,000, I think. Maybe in the newest update, it's gonna be a little bit better, especially with the batteries as well. But right now, I'd say the cost of construction of something like this, uh, definitely not worth worth it early or mid-game. Perhaps more towards late game, but yeah, we'll see. To be fair, I haven't actually tried the newest patch just yet. Uh, I mean, on the live stage, I did try a little bit on the uh, back in July, I think, when it was in in testing. I didn't quite get uh, reach the columns, to be fair, because I wasn't using the um, creative mode. But um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what that's going to be like as well. Right, so there we go. We can see it seems to be stabilizing a little bit. So 4,000 on average. So. I guess we could say twice the amount of what the demand is. So, sure, it's worth it for the time being, but uh, during droughts, yeah, a bit more difficult. Anyways, I think we can move on. There was big plans for this area here as well. But right now, all I've done is just plop down some trees, make it look uh, just a little bit nicer. Most of this area is all naturally grown, I believe. Yeah, should be. I think so. They haven't... Uh, because they cannot... There you go. Bit of space for those uh, trees to spread out as well. Uh, beautiful. Yep, so this is... Baby Dragon's District. And then the Pyramid one as well. We can move away from you. And let's uh, look at this. The plans for... For our amusement park. Yep, there we go. So what I was planning, and these plans were actually done three or four months ago. Uh, I mean, I did say before there was a whole episode recorded on this as well, but unfortunately just didn't. Uh, you, you, uh, None of you saw it. Anyways, let's go through it real quick before it gets dark. It's already getting dark. There was a couple of gates in here and uh, moving in. Bit of a temple area, nature parks. Uh, beavers can uh, chill out a little bit. Then a few, what were they called again, those carousels. And the little platforms to take them uh, onto, uh, I kind of saw them as not uh, like terraces, but more like, you know, those uh, restaurants with a, with a lovely little uh, garden or a terrace as well. Pretty amazing, yeah. Especially on the side of a mountain with a lovely little view. Unfortunately, these aren't quite high enough to they might see through some of those trees but it seems like the trees are a little bit too tall all right so what i was thinking let's try and build this all together i 
I don't suppose the... Oh, it's kind of difficult to talk and unpause everything at the same time, but let's give it a try. So here we go. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about messing some things up because we do have the uh, creative mode still active. But we'll try and let the beavers build as much as they can. And if there's any problems, we can always just fix it up very, uh, very quickly as well. We're probably not going to make this or turn this into a time lapse. So whilst the beavers are building, I uh, hope it's not going to lag too much. But let's just uh, uh, talk it through, at least when it's not... Uh, what is it droughts so this area over here would kind of resemble a bit of a water park with a lovely little statue in the middle i suppose and uh, yeah all we have here is a couple of mud baths uh littos and i was gonna mirror it on the other side as well but i think the access is a bit of a problem over there it seems let's see if we can fix it up you know what for the time being just a uh, carry on as you as you are um, they will most likely lock themselves in right okay do you know what let's uh oh i didn't have to delete it because they won't mm, i think everything should be fine so let's uh yeah we'll let them build construct as much as they can and uh yeah so initially what i was thinking we'll uh have the district one beavers kind of use this space in here and temple beavers oh it's definitely lagging when it's three times the speed then the temple beavers they could be using this zone in here oh there we go and if there was oh wait wait, wait. and the um, dragon ski beavers they could kind of have or we could allocate this kind of space in here for them as well so so yeah this was more like a phase one of this theme park idea that we that we were going to do uh, but it's just the energy consumption probably on these carousels as well would be quite a heavy one yeah i don't think they but then again i think in in the creative mode right now it, it should be fine we've got enough windmills and we can always plop some more more down as well what's the problem over here it's not connected oh of course it isn't and that's because okay are you able to reach now quick check yep that's all red that's already dark red over here does that mean they're not going to be able to reach all those mod baths maybe probably think so i guess we'll find out okay do you know what since it is just a bit of construction i know i said no time lapse but how about i just leave it here for a little bit if it's taking too much time i might cut it out but let's do just a tiny little time lapse why not all right so that's taking quite a bit of time and they haven't really done a lot i mean it's, it's been like five minutes already since I left it to run and all they've uh, completed is a little Lido over there, a couple of fencing or a bit of fencing. Uh, yeah, so things aren't moving as quick, but it could also be that I don't have a lot of construction beavers left because they're all, everyone's hauling things most likely or working elsewhere. I mean, yeah, there's only 460 beavers, so not that many left and especially in this district as well there's only 150 of them so how about we just build it live with you um there's a couple of roofs over here and let's see leisure as well whilst we build uh it's not the easiest to multi i mean i'm pretty good at multitasking usually but building and talking whilst thinking now that's uh that's a little bit different so uh it might turn out to be a little bit more difficult and I might forget some things but essentially uh, now we are reaching uh, towards the end of this uh, episode really as well and um, I mean of course I do hope that we can pick up uh, the episodes and recordings and videos as it used to be that would be of course amazing um, but you know we'll, we'll see how it goes of course what I am uh, thinking about or considering or I guess a few things I'm not sure about is 
I do want to try the newest update, 100%. Gonna have to find a map and give it a try. I'm not sure about the format though. And that's something I'm definitely uh, still considering. So I'm uh, open to all sorts of ideas and thoughts. Uh, so essentially what I'm sure, not sure about is whether it's more of uh, like a shortened playthrough. Uh, so there's a, let's say each episode has a bit of a theme and instead of uh, doing episodes how I usually do them, they would all be condensed and straight to the point and very short with, which, you know, is definitely not my style, at least so far, but it's uh, something uh, we might try. Okay, um, yeah, now we have a bit of a problem. Just realized we're gonna need power here, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna have to run through somewhere. Not through here. I think it was running through these ones, wasn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I was gonna say about Timberborn. I am definitely not done with it. Um, I very much would love to return and do some more that I am uh, sure uh, sure about however just finding yeah which way and how to to go about it that's probably something I have to consider and it really depends on how much time I have I'd say what I've found the easiest so far I haven't really tried of course the second uh, option just yet but uh, I, I find doing them one episode at a time and just showing you everything it tends to be a little bit easier because there's a little bit less that you have to plan and think about I'd say uh, but it might turn out to be you as a viewer a little bit more boring I suppose that's something I'm worried about as well of course um, but yeah We'll see how it goes. Now, other than that, let me just bring those levels down. And these two corners. Other than that, I did have a quick look on Steam as well. It's been uh, quite a while since I've gone there and looked at any games. But uh, it seemed there's quite a, quite a few demos available. So I've picked up or downloaded a few as well. Just to perhaps try some newer games and see if there's anything similar or... Yeah, I guess similar to the Beaver, Beaver's one, uh, the Dimborn that we are playing right now. And if there is, oh, how are we going to get here? Well, that's a little awkward, isn't it? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I think we're all good. Yep. Anyways, so just uh, going to give it a quick drive for a couple of demos that I found. And I even... I think I purchased a few new games as well. The Father's Frontier and I forgot the other ones. Oh, Stray, the the one with the cat running around. So I thought that might be a nice little chill game. Maybe I've heard some reviews that that can get a little bit more hectic at times, but I, I haven't played it just yet. So I just want to give it a try for a couple of new games. Don't really think Stray would be a game that we can record and play. I mean, it sounds more like a bit of a streaming game and streaming is something I, I do not do. But yeah, so I'm uh, definitely open to ideas about how should we, or what are your thoughts about the uh, Timberborn sort of playthroughs and future, how we can go about it. What's something uh, that's more interesting for you to watch perhaps as well? Basically, anything you say is going to be interesting for me to hear because it, it's been a while and I think I'm pretty open to some changes and, and new ideas as well. So don't be don't be afraid to share. I haven't really put too much effort into that just yet, but we'll, um, we'll see. We'll see what's over there. Oh, this reminds me, there is another game that we're playing and I've got to figure that one out as well. Uh, let me just do that. You know what? I think what I'm going to do now is let me... I don't want to drag it to like a one hour episode. Because we just want to get this amusement park mostly... Oh, look at that. We've got power here. 
That's amazing. And our first customer, who is that? Sadia Martin. Okay. Our second customer is Dave. And who's the third one? Rachel. We got May. The good looking beaver right behind. Uh, no, nah, he's not into amusement parks. Okay, yeah. The first one's running. That's uh, that's fantastic. Everyone wants to hop on. How about you? Let's uh, get rid of you over here as well. Oh, we've got a few decorations right about there. Okay. So I think we were... Oh, actually, we could pull the power through. I'm pretty sure it had to... Oh, uh, no, it could go from there as well. Do you know what? That's fine. It's not like we're uh, struggling with materials. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? There's some other games that we've got on the channel as well, such as the uh, Noble Fates. And that's, again, that's another victim of our unfortunate series of events. So I have two or three episodes already recorded and I was going to edit them, but it's the, the audio is just terrible. It, it, it sort of, it feels like the noise gate was too heavy and it keeps cutting out quite a lot of the speech as well. I mean, I'm gonna see and try if there's anything that we can save with that. But essentially, what my thought is, if, if it all goes well and I can salvage the recording or the um, the video, then I'll definitely be... I'll, I'll finish the editing as quick as I can. And I do want to keep playing that playthrough and the game as well. Because I find it quite fun. A little bit different. And I think that's pretty, pretty much the future news that I have. So we've got half the amusement park done or a little bit. That's uh, not sure how we're going to... Oh, wait a second. We don't have this link done, do we? I think we're going to go there. Do you know what? I'm going to have this constructed real quick. And once it's done, I'll be right back. And here we go. Everything is pretty much complete now. It's, uh, I, I'd say, yeah, this is more like the phase one of the amusement park that I'd uh, or originally uh, wanted to build. And uh, essentially a couple of um, temples over here, carousels, uh, little park areas, rooftop terraces, uh, mud baths over here as well. And with a lovely little beaver statue right in the middle overlooking everyone i'd say uh in the phase two or maybe even three we wanted to just expand it a little bit on onto this side as well and give carousel access to uh, all the beavers everywhere and uh right now we can already see it's getting to that evening time and we got the beavers from the temple district uh, using these baths over here some littles carousels everything's getting quite nice and uh, busy and even though they are uh, beavers from different uh, districts uh, by putting the amusement park right in the middle we can make it look like it's all sort of like a one district and uh, everyone's in the same park. And yeah, I think the end goal was really just to bring them as mm, together as we can. But I think uh, right now this is already at the level where I can say I'm pretty happy to close this series. And as the uh, night settles in into our our lovely colony of the of the beavers. We've managed to accomplish quite a quite a lot over here, and we definitely uh, would have been able to accomplish even more if it wasn't for that uh, small little pause in our recordings for the past three or four months. So I'd just like to uh, say a massive thank you for following us uh, yet in another playthrough. It's been a pleasure, and it's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much for all those great and amazing ideas that you always keep uh, leaving on the on the videos. It's been very helpful. And while well, you look at that, this colony is or has, I'm going to have to pause it for a little bit. It's become pretty, uh, pretty massive thanks to all of your ideas and comments. Yeah, there we go. Pretty, uh, pretty cool looking colony, actually. Okay, so that was a lovely little final look through uh, through the colony in here. So yeah, it is time to close this playthrough now. And um, thank you so much for, for following us. Hope you had fun in our previous episodes as well and i genuinely really 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 hope there's gonna be plenty more to come in the future so so thank you once again and i'll see you in the next playthrough